Today at CCSR, we're gonna present upper cross syndrome. Upper cross syndrome is a predictable pattern of tightness that occurs to the cervical spine and the upper thoracic spine. This syndrome uh, basically affects all of us. What happens is as time goes on, as we age, or as we spend time working on a computer, gravity will set in. And as gravity sets in, the patient will end up slouching forward as time goes on. And as they slouch forward, their eyes will dip down to the floor, but they're not looking there. Their computer screen or their boss or whomever is here. So they'll bring their eyes up to meet the horizontal plane. When they do that, a predictable pattern of tightness occurs to the cervical spine. The levator scapulae muscle will become tight. The upper trapezius will become tight as well as the pectoral muscles will become tight. You can see Ariana has rounded her shoulders forward, causing the distance between her breastbone and her shoulders to become tight. As well, what ends up happening is the upper cervical spine becomes tight, particularly some muscles we call the suboccipitals. The suboccipitals, as well as the upper trapezius, are related to a lot of tension headache. And as the day goes on, as the patient gets more and more tired, they end up slouching, these muscles develop tension, and subsequently the headaches start near the end of the day. That's a traditional tension headache pattern. So fixing the upper cross syndrome is really about addressing the patient's posture. Initially, you would start from the bottom and move up. You'd want to extend the patient's lumbar spine, getting that back into normal. And you can see already that Ariana's posture is a lot more elevated, and then teaching the patient to dorsally retract the neck, thus positioning the head directly over the neck and the shoulders, causing uh, uh, less tension to build. There is some theory, if you can go down, Ariana, there is some theory to state that, this is quite interesting, that as the head goes forward, um, every centimeter that the head goes forward or that the ear goes forward of the chromioclavicular joint, the AC joint, the weight of the head goes up tenfold. So think about holding a bowling ball out this far comparatively to in here. This is what these muscles are having to do all day. So sit tall. What we do at CCSR to address the upper cross syndrome is we spend time releasing these tissues with soft tissue massage, active release, or Graston technique. As well, we show a home exercise program of stretching and sometimes self-massage so that the patient can help manage that pain. Concurrently, we will also show a strengthening program of the deep neck flexors as well as the shoulder blade stabilizers to help hold the shoulder blades back. And as well, we'll show a lot of stretching and self-release of the pectoral muscles. Typically, patients with upper cross syndrome uh, will have to manage the syndrome because you're not removing them from uh, the seated environment. They're sitting there for eight to 10 hours a day. And what we have to do is we have to learn to manage our posture from the bottom and as well, learn to stretch the neck and release the neck as our day goes on so that we can keep it mobile and uh, not painful.